एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज विजयलक्ष्मी टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग एग्जाम्पल टू ऑफ कैंडिडेट एलिमिनेशन एलगोरिदम सो रेफर माई पी प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन सो हियर वॉट आर द स्टेप्स वी फॉलो फॉर कैंडिडेट एलिमिनेशन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज वी हैव टू जनरेट दी पॉजिटिव हाइपोथिस ओके जनरेट दी पॉजिटिव हाइपोथिस देन वी हैव टू जनरेट दी नेगेटिव हाइपोथिस सेट जनरेट दी नेगेटिव हाइपोथिस सेट and then the third step is we have to generate the uh, version space version space is nothing but we have to generate the consistent hypothesis so here we generate the positive hypothesis by starting from uh, specific to general that is generalization so here from specific to general we generate the hypothesis set so here what is my specific hypothesis my specific hypothesis will be always represented with phi and how many attributes given this sample data set this sample data set has to predict that the given patient is a covid positive patient or a negative patient so here a set of attributes given are fever cough throat throat pain and body pain and if the patient has all these symptoms it is positive and if the if he doesn't have no fever and uh, and he has cough and no throat pain and body pain means it is a negative instance so here while generating this uh, uh, specific uh, general hypothesis we have to take only the positive instances into consideration so our output variable y equal to f of x this is what our dependent variable y so it is dependent on all these independent variables that is fever cough throat pain and the body pain based on these inputs we have to the model has to predict that whether the person is affected by by uh, covid or not okay so then what is the hypothesis has to be generated and how the model has to learn the model will be learned with the help of this generalization and specialization technique itself so now we we'll start our first step that is i am going to generate the version space so first i am going to generate my specific hypothesis at the top and then i am going to generate my general general hypothesis from the bottom and in the middle i am going to combine both uh, this uh, s4 and uh, this uh, specific and uh, general hypothesis set and come up with a set of consistent hypothesis set so that's what uh, the derivation tree of the version space what do we say so now we'll start here so first step is we have to generate the uh, positive hypothesis set here so that is the set s yes, we have to generate so now since we have four attributes here so i am writing four pi symbols here okay guys so i am starting from my specific one specific pick will not match anything so anything it is uh, there it will not match any nothing that is the meaning here okay now my s1 what will be my specific hypothesis one to generate my specific hypothesis one i have to see my instance i1 so in my instance i1 what i have here fever is yes cough is yes throat pain is yes yes so all i have yes 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 here okay so my specific hypothesis also will be what here now yes 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 the first hypothesis generated and it is a positive instance positive instance means we have to consider here in this uh, here if i find any negative instances i should ignore my negative instances here so this is what the first hypothesis generated and in positive instance what we do if the attribute values are same means if you have instance value yes or no yes or no if both the attribute values are same means we write that attribute value instance value as it is if they are different means we put the question mark okay now come check my s2 to generate my s2 read the instance i2 in i2 what do we have in i2 we have yes no yes no ss so you have yes no yes yes now compare this instance i2 with my s2 compare i2 with my s2 so here what do you have uh, sorry compare i2 with my hypothesis set s1 and see here i have yes and here also i have yes and here i have yes and here i have no so that is what no here so here if you have same attributes write that as it is here you have yes and here you have no two different attributes yes and no means then you have to put the question mark 
and next you have s in s1 and see the instance i2 here i2 you have yes both are same just copy it is yes and s both are same just copy it so this is the new hypothesis s2 generated hope you have understood how i am uh, writing these hypothesis set next read i3 read the row number consider i3 so read i3 in i3 what do we have read that row no s no no and if you see the instance instance is negative here so whenever you have a negative instance what you should do just you should ignore that okay ignore that instance so here it will be s3 will be same as s2 okay whatever we have for s2 copy it same as for s3 since we have a negative instance so it is y question mark y y next read i4 row 4 so in i4 what you have yes 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 no now compare this with my s3 i have to generate now s4 to generate s4 i have to see i4 with s3 here also i have yes and s so we can't do anything just write it as it is here question mark and s put question mark okay then you have yes and s here and here the last attribute is no and here also you have yes so put question mark okay guys so this is my s4 generated and it is positive so since it is positive i need not ignore anything just whatever uh, it is there i have to take and i have to compare with my s3 and i have to generate my s4 now next instance if you see s5 now s5 we have read i5 but i5 is what it is a negative instance you have no 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 y and the instance is what negative negative means what negative instance means we have to ignore whatever we have s4 the same only will be even for s5 so my s5 will be same as s4 since i have a negative instance so copy that y question mark y question mark so this is our s4 generated the new hypothesis so just put one square boxes like this so that it looks better to separate the hypothesis since i don't have a space i am writing like this since you may be having space just you can write neatly okay so this is about generating the positive hypothesis the second step is what we have to generate the negative hypothesis so to generate the negative hypothesis i am going to start with my general hypothesis set from the bottom okay so general hypothesis set how do we write so since we have four attributes we put four question marks to represent the general hypothesis set next i have to generate the g1 so in general hypothesis what we will do here we have to consider even the negative instances for negative instances also we have to generate the hypothesis but in the previous case what we did we ignored all the negative instances but now we should not ignore we have to consider them and for them also we have to generate the hypothesis set so here by g1 now read my instance i1 to generate g1 so we know that g will match anything here anything is there it, uh, question mark means it can be anything it will accept so what is our g1 we have y read i1 y y y okay so my g1 will be same as g itself so this hypothesis itself will match for g1 also okay next i have to generate my g2 hypothesis now how to generate my g2 hypothesis here to generate g2 i have to see my g1 and also you see here it is positive instance so if you have positive instance you need not worry about anything you can uh, easily generate the hypothesis set there so here come to read g2 so g mean sorry read i2 what do we have yes no yes yes okay now compare this yes no ss i2 with this g1 as well as see the i1 so here also i have yes and here also i have yes both are yes yes here this i1 and i2 to generate g2 to check for this hypothesis i have to see both g1 and g2 both are yes here so i need not change anything but here i have yes and no here one attribute is yes another attribute is no so put question mark and here you have yes and s so put 
yes itself and here also you have yes and yes it is yes itself so this is the uh, g2 hypothesis generated so here what is our uh, g2 is g2 is same we got here g2 is yes question mark yes yes okay now since it is a positive hypothesis next we will see our h uh, read i3 next so what is our i3 now now read i3 in i3 we have no s no 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 s no no and also the instance is what here negative instance so here i'll drop this one so let me wrap this one also so that we can solve here now i want my result to be here i have let me check g2 here once again you have yes no and s question mark yes and s yes and s yes yes our uh, hypothesis is correct now next when i see for g3 to generate g3 you see i3 now and compare with here and also i have here what negative instance for this negative instance also i have to generate the hypothesis so what are the possible hypothesis we can generate for uh, uh, this g3 so i want the result to be printed as no negative i have yes here in g2 but here i have no okay so one hypothesis if i write here considering this attribute value i want to the result to be printed as no negative and i have no here and i have yes here so i'll put yes here and put and generate one hypothesis like this so this is one one hypothesis generated and next hypothesis if i observe i have no here okay i have yes here and i have question mark here and in a uh, here in i2 if i observe i have no here okay so to make this as null for this attribute i will add one more hypothesis that is i have to since i have no yes here i have to take the opposite of that one that is no i should take so that i can print my negative result so question mark no question mark question mark so this is again a new hypothesis generated Drop this one. Next, I'll writing. I'm writing my I three here now. What is I three? We have no, yes, no, no. Next, for this we finish. Now see the next attribute. You have no, and here in G two we have here yes. So I cannot uh, now here I have no here, and since I have yes here, so I'm generating a new hypothesis. Question mark. Question mark. I'm writing yes only so that my result uh, instead of no, if I give here yes. it will print it as no so i am taking the opposite attribute value and next attribute i have yes here and here i have no here okay so if i if i put question mark here that will satisfy my negative hypothesis so question mark question mark no i have here so i am putting in that place yes so that my g3 will satisfy this negative instance okay next read i4 so this is the four hypothesis got generated for our g3 next we have to generate g4 to generate g4 read i4 now now what is our i4 i4 is yes 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 no so yes 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 no now compare which are the hypothesis will satisfy this and what we have here is positive instance so you have a positive instance there you see all these four hypotheses which will satisfy so that you should get that positive instance so here i4 if i see here here also i have yes and here also i have yes here so this is my useful hypothesis i can copy this hypothesis as uh, g4 so i have yes question mark question mark question mark next i have here question mark no question mark question mark and see here i have here yes so here i have yes and i have here no so this will not satisfy so it is not an useful hypothesis for me 
Next, if I observe here, I have question mark, question mark, yes. And here also I have yes. So this is a useful hypothesis. So copy that hypothesis. So you have question mark, question mark, yes, followed by question mark. Next, observe the last hypothesis. You have question mark, question mark, yes. But here I have no. So this hypothesis is also is not useful for me. It is not consistent. It is an inconsistent hypothesis. So my G4 will be having only two hypotheses. So now the four hypothesis got reduced to two hypotheses in G4. Okay, yes. So next we have to see what is our G5. Now to construct G5, I have to see the G4. What is my G5 here, guys? So read I4 now. Sorry, I5. To generate G5, you read the I5 now. What in I5 what I have? No, 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 S. Okay. Now compare this no, no, yes here. See here I have here yes, question mark, question mark. And it is a negative instance. Here I have no, but here I have yes. The same hypothesis if I apply it will print no itself. So I am considering this is my useful, the same uh, hypothesis will match for that. So it is question mark, sorry, yes, followed by question marks. Okay. Now see the second hypothesis here. We have question mark, question mark, yes. Here you have no, second attribute, no, no. And here the third attribute you have no and you have yes here. It means here you have no, negative. No and here you have yes. So here I have yes and I have here no. So if I use this hypothesis for this, it will give me negative only. I have yes here and I have no here. So this is also my useful hypothesis only. So the same, both the hypotheses are consistent. It will satisfy the negative instance. So my G5 is also satisfied. My G4 and G5 both are same. Okay guys. So till now uh, we have come, we have generated uh, G5 and yes 4 Next step is what? We have to merge. We have to merge G5 and S4 and we have to generate a set of hypotheses. So what are the possible hypotheses which will satisfy? So I have to generate my version space. So I don't have the space here. So now I am going to write the version space here. Version space should be written in the middle. Okay. In the middle of G5 and S5 you write the version space by combining these two, you have to merge these two hypothesis set what has been generated. So here if you observe this S5 and G5, here also I have yes, okay. Here also I have yes, question mark, yes. And here I have yes, question mark, question mark. So I am merging these two means I will get a combination like yes, question mark, yes, question mark, one hypothesis generated. And here I have again if I merge with, the, with this one also if I merge I will get this with this if I merge here I will get question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, yes question mark, this question mark, question mark, yes question mark. This one question mark question mark yes question mark we have copied here and this yes question mark this can be combined with this yes yes you'll get one combination and here already you have here this uh, yes yes question mark already we have put there the other combination possible is yes question mark question mark question mark so here you will get all the three we are merging yes question mark question mark question mark so this is the three hypothesis generated. Okay, so this is the version space. So we combined both S5 and G5. So you will get the same combination. So we can't mer if you are merging also see you will get the same all the three only. You have yes here and also you also have yes here. So these two remain same and here also you have yes and here also you have yes. So you will get all these three. So this is the set of consistent hypothesis generated. So totally we have three hypotheses. Consistent hypothesis version space has been generated.
so hope you have understood please don't forget to subscribe like and uh, share my channel please uh, click the subscribe button and the bell button so that for further videos you will get a notification thank you